Hello and welcome back. Today we are looking at a coin which I haven't featured on my channel. I bought some time ago and never, never got around to making a video on it. Totally not because I've totally misplaced my Tigger uh, 50 pence, which is supposed to be in today's video, but uh, the time is getting late and I need to put a video together for today now in the upload. So hopefully I'll have found that Tigger by next week and if not, I have no idea what I'm doing for next Saturday, next Saturday, next Tuesday. So first off though, I had a giveaway on my Gandhi five pound coin review it was uh one of these Eliz queen elizabeth 95th birthday queen uh five pound coins uh there is a, there was an offer code i don't think it's live anymore giving you a free bunk coin um and i said if you left a comment in the gandhi video you'd be entered into the giveaway so um there were plenty of entries in fact there's a link to the video it's filtered by uh duplicate users so you're gonna get one entry per well, one entry, no matter how many comments you made, 197 unique comments. If you are one of my lucky winners, um, then do comment. Well, if you are the lucky winner, I should say, comment in the video in the comment section of the video uh, where you're going to be claiming your prize. Thankfully, the last two have been claimed, and they'll be on their way very shortly. So, I'm sure everyone will join me in congratulation in grad congratulating the lucky winner, Stuart Jacobs, who says, "Holy Toledo, love your videos." and always watch well thank you very much and um, i hope you do always watch because i want to get this last giveaway prize sent out to its uh, new owner so uh, do leave a comment where i need to keep an eye out so what are we looking at then well we're looking at one of my favorite coins it is uh, in glorious bunk we have the great fire of london it's a lovely coin to find in a coin hunt uh, and i have been very lucky in getting a few sealed bags of the a great Fire of London and Navy Centenaries that seem to have been cropping up middle of last year. But there we have it. And it's the nostalgia of seeing an old bunk pack where there is design across the whole thing that makes me somewhat miss that. I do like the new snazzy uniform sort of design that we get. Royal Mint and a little picture and whatever. But um, again, the uniqueness of this design, again, the, the, the drawing of what the idea of the concept behind the design of the coin is there is lovely. So it says on here, remembering the great fire that changed London forever. Imagine the chaos and panic as the great fire of London tore through the city, consuming every home in its path at a time when basic infrastructure that we can rely on today uh, weren't yet in place. Uh, thousands of people scrabbling together what little of their possessions they could and running in fear for their lives. The dramatic events brought about devastation that would go on to shape the iconic skyline of the London we know today. Uh, this year the city will remember the fire and the Roman plays its part by marking the event with a two pound coin. Oh, in partnership with the Museum of London. So then details here we have uh, we all know this, two pound coin, Cooper nickel, blah, 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 blah. The obverse designer naturally is Jodie Clark, and the reverse designer was Aaron West. Aaron West did the um, Isaac Newton, 50 pence as well, if I recall. Edge inscription is the whole city in dreadful flames. There we go. Very cool. And it's also nice because I can now, after having shown you this coin, put it on my shelf behind me, but uh, because um, everything else lives in a box on a shelf until uh, it appears in a video, then I can put it on the bookcase behind me, which um, is, I know, I was stupid, whatever. Here we have the silver proof, though. Uh, the 350th anniversary of the Great Fire of London, 2016 UK £2 silver proof coin. So not a lot more, as we said on there. I think this will probably be the same as what was on the back of the bunk coin. But again, very cool packaging. We should have, so there we go. A bit of bump, which we're going to flick through at a pace where you can pause and take a moment to peruse if you wish of your own accord. Very dramatic depiction there. The Great Fire of London, 1666. There we go. Did I see Samuel Pepys on the next page? I think that's him, isn't it? Uh, da, 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 oh yeah, uh, one of the most famous chronicles of the Great Fire belonged to Samuel Pepys, whose diary reveals an insight into London during the 17th century. Interestingly, in 20, hmm, 2019 was it? We had the Samuel Pepys two pound coin. So this is what three years before that coin came out. I think it was 2019 was the Samuel Pepys two pound coin. I don't think what else came out around it. I don't really remember. 
because my memory is appalling. Hence why I can't find the Tigger 50p that was supposed to be going up today. But there we go. Oh, a threat to the home of the Roman. Oh, of course, because the Roman would have been based in the Tower of London, would it not have? There we go. Later that day, the goldsmith brought the entire stock and reserves of money and plates, some 1.2 million pounds worth of into the tower for safety. Now, the gates were also open to the homeless and the injured while yeoman warders and other inhabitants went on to the stricken city to offer what assistance they could. The tower became a refuge for more and more of the dispossessed. Wow. Amazing. Would the Romans have been there in the tower? Well, I guess it might have. If not, it was only at the Tower Hill, which is only across the road from it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they were the Romans' home at the time of the fire was at the Tower of London. Very cool. You can't, it's like, you can't, you can't even imagine a situation like that. It's, oh, is this the, the effects of the fire? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's a huge amount of space, isn't it? Unbelievable. Obviously, in a, in a world where we do have rampant wildfires in different parts of the world. Oh, there we go. Fantastic stuff. Here we go. This is the bits I always like. It says, Aaron West is a talented member of the Roman's own design studio. After achieving a degree in gra graphic design, Aaron worked in retail advertising, graphic design and teaching before taking up a career at the Royal Mint. This is Aaron's first commemorative UK coin. Well, there we go. I knew that researching the Great Fire of London wouldn't be problematic as there's so much research material and literature on the subject. It's such a well-known story. The challenge was to create a design that would be original and engage with the audience. I've got even more. Wow, we get a really in-depth look though. I quite like this. I began with the skyline of London looking at the modern and old to create the design's central point. Then I tackled the water, scattered with the riverboats that people relied on for safety during the fire. The whole scene is viewed as if from one of these boats gazing back at the chaos on the shore. Creating the plumes of smoke was tricky. I used a line effect to give the impression of high, thick smoke and I deliberately left the de let the design spill over the border to convey a sense of uncontrollability. There's one thing I do like about the coin, we'll look at it in the silver proof. It was a great surprise to find out that it will now become a coin that will circulate around the UK and might be found in anyone's pocket. I'm very proud to know that it will be a part of history and having my name on that coin is fantastic. The next challenge will be to find my own design on the coin in my pocket amongst the many million that will be struck. Very cool idea. Wow. Well, that's a really neat sort of insight. I do like those bits of sort of an insight behind the mind of the designer at the time. So they don't always have them. So here we have the coin itself. Now, this was bought from the secondary market, so I'm hoping it's a good quality one. But that looks absolutely stunning, you know. Very, very cool. The silver proofs do look lovely, and the two pound coins are definitely my favorite silver proofs. It's just the way that little gold banding on the outer part pops. But yeah, you can see, I think I've said it many times when I've found this coin, it's the fact that it looks like there is more to be had in that design. There's more going on around the, the, uh, I don't know, the canvas that is the coin. Obviously, reverse. Got a little bit of something on it, but could be forgiven. It's not as bad as that navy centenary that I sent to Bungle that had a horrible stains on it. But no, beautiful stuff. You can't really see the edge inscription through the capsule. But no, again, a coin minted in 2016, still in beautiful condition. I think these capsules are definitely the way forward. These ones without that foam inside. But no. It's a really, really lovely coin. One of my all-time favourites and one I was very grateful to pick up at such a reasonable price as well. I, for I forget exactly what the price point was, I must have been, but I remember thinking, oh, that's a bit of a, a steal for the bunk of the silver. But no, again, it's a coin that very much works both in silver and in bunk. Um, there's a lot of bunk coins or, that I can think of that I don't think work particularly well in bunk because, primarily because it's such a busy design, but this design is such a, so cleverly done that you aren't really losing anything in the maelstrom of the design. There's lots going on and there are lots of intricate details, but you can see all the individual bits and pieces rather than say the um, the first of the Winnie the Pooh coins this year, which it looked lovely in silver with the color on it. The colored bunk looked perfectly fine, but the bunk without the color on it was a bit disappointing. But this one is lovely. And again, a coin, if there was a bit of color on that coin, 
how cool would that have been? It looked a little bit like that, which would have been beautiful, I think. But yeah, a shame that it's a, a coin that was released before we started getting flecks and little bits of colour on the coins, because I think that would have looked absolutely superb. But no, it's a fantastic coin, one that I think is I'm very very glad to have added to my collection in sort of in the silver and the bunk, especially because it's one we find on a fairly regular basis, and it's always one that's quite special to do so. Um, in terms of giveaways, lots of people are asking me. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. My 60,000 subscriber giveaway, as I have been promoting, is going to be on the, on Thursday. So tune in Thursday as uh, for a chance to win some very nice prizes, if I say so myself. So um, <laughs> you'll have a month to enter as well from Thursday. So don't feel you have to immediately watch it, but uh, definitely immediately watch it when it pops up in your subscriber box or whatever it is that it pings you to say holy toledo coming into this giveaway um for those of you that watch this final video though you might be interested to know i have a discord server you can click the link in the description to come and join that if you're not on discord you can catch me on facebook instagram twitter tiktok and there's the PO box you can write into should you wish um do let me know what you thought of this this coin i know it's a it's a popular coin but um Again, it looks beautiful in bunk and silver. What do you guys think? What, which one do you prefer? All that leaves me to do now, though, is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.